What's up everyone? It is your friend Omiglio back at it with a new video here. I am giving you Omi's top 20 NES games. Now guys, I have to admit, this was up to now the hardest list I've ever had to make. Why? Because the NES was stacked, and I mean stacked with great games. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it justice, and I know that a lot of you are going to have different opinions than mine. And as I thought about it guys, I don't know how many lists I went through because I couldn't come up with the perfect list. I came up with the number 1 through 20, but then figuring out the order, let me just tell you, it was a task. So without further ado, guys, let's get the controversy started. And here goes Omi's Top 20 Nintendo Entertainment System Games. Coming in at number 20 is Final Fantasy. Now, this game, I have like a love-hate relationship with it. I love it because it's an RPG. It's one of the RPGs that basically got... <laughs> A legendary franchise started and this is where it got its roots you know it's final fantasy for the nes you could talk to people uh you could you could get weapons and it's all about you know leveling up your character and having the right weapons and armor as you go through this uh adventure game um and this is the very beginning of the game so obviously i'm not too far but it's okay i went back into the town i didn't want to do that but why do i love it because for the reasons that I mentioned, it's a great, fantastic uh, adventure game and just trying to gather clues. You talk to people to gather clues and it's truly, truly, truly a very memorable game. Um, the flaws that I have, it, and it's something that as the series uh, progressed, you know, they kind of fixed. It's uh, the biggest flaw this game has is that you don't have a lot of ethers, a lot of basically being able to catch cast magic spells and that's truly like especially it's just you know it's almost non-existence you have very limited supplies so the best way to approach this game is to think of it as a rpg but you're very limited when it comes to casting spells or anything to do with magic and if you're okay with that you're gonna love final fantasy for me i still love it that's the biggest flaw but it's a heck of a journey a heck of an adventure and it's a turn-based combat so maybe we can get a battle in here before we go to the next game but this this game does still come in at number 20 so you get to pick the guy you want to hit you know pretty straightforward guys you guys pretty much know what this is this is a turn-based combat and it's very you know very charming very fun oh see so because I, I didn't buy any weapons that's the thing about this game this is where the strategy comes in you have to think i didn't buy any armor or any or any weapons so basically that means that uh, i'm probably 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 better off just running because i don't have any equipment but needless to say guys this is a fantastic game one of the great ones in my opinion and it is coming in at number 20 oh yeah nostalgia galore coming in at number 19 is double dragon 2 i know i know a lot of you guys like double dragon 2 it's pretty much your favorite double dragon for the original nes and i love this game i really really do it, 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 nothing not too much against it just a couple of gripes I mean, look at those graphics. Look, at, it has a storyline, beautiful 8-bit graphics. By far, this is one of the most beautiful uh, Nintendo games. But I do have, actually, a, you know, I don't want to give out too much, but this is not my favorite Double Dragon game. And I know it's going to be controversial. Like, what are you thinking, Omiglio? Why not? This is a good game. Now, I will say, I think this game is best played with two friends. This is this is a really good beat-em-up if you want to get into, like, you know, a beat-em-up, a, a good beat-em-up on the NES. I mean, this game is really good. Animations are spot-on. Graphics, colors, everything is fantastic. Now, I will say, I do prefer the sprites and just the animations and the moves i do prefer them better on the <laughs> double dragon 3 i i know that's controversial but you know it wouldn't be omi's top 20 list if i wasn't completely transparent with you completely honest as far as you know my list and and which games i prefer now by far this is not a horrible game and it does come in at number 19 a lot of you guys will probably think that's not right but you know what it's still it's still a really really good game and when it comes to like you know beat-em-ups man look not much further than this because this this has you covered now as far as where it loses points for me uh as you get further into the game you are gonna run into like a lot of platforming and as i mentioned on my walkthrough if you guys watched my walkthrough on double dragon for the nes i'm just not crazy about that you know i you know especially for this era of, of beat-em-ups i wanted to beat them up i didn't want a platforming beat them up i wanted to beat them up and that's where this game lost points it really did but a lot of i mean this game is still very 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 good nevertheless it's not my favorite double dragon game but i still love it and i hope that all makes sense because you know i love this game oh yeah i would argue now this does come in at number 18 i would argue this is one of the greatest games ever made is that right guys am i wrong you you know metroidvania games owe their everything to this game 
You know, this game is so good. Now, the reason it's lower on my list is because it doesn't have a freaking map. If it had him, oh, I love that song, guys. Listen, let's listen to that. You know, okay, so I, I did hit start, but you know, if it had a map, this game would be way higher on my list. What what I remember about this game as a kid, okay, again, as you guys can already tell, it has a phenomenal soundtrack, uh, especially for 8-bit. I mean, so many 8-bit great games. Okay, so in the beginning, you want to get this ball, right? And this kind of gives you the ability to roll, I think. It's been a while since I played this game. I think, yeah, it should do that. Yeah, there you go. So you can roll and get through platforms like that. This is easily one of the best Nintendo games. And, and I remember, like I said... There was this swap meet near my house when I was a kid, and I would always go and I would see Metroid, and I would think that game looks interesting. I want to buy it, but I would never pull the trigger. I didn't play this until later on, when I had a Wii. U, a Wii, actually, it was just a regular Wii. And you know how you can go into the store and you can buy like Nintendo games. Well, I ended up buying that. Finally, buying Metroid digitally through the Wii Shop. You know, back then when it was still opened. And OMG, I realized how great in design and how great this game is. Easily one of the best designed, greatest, greatest music, greatest video games ever made. That would definitely influence a lot of games later. And of course, you know, Thomas Happ Games, he made that game called Ax Ax um, Axiom Verge. And everything, everything, you know, Super Metroid, everything owes... Uh, their gratitude to, to this game because this is where it all started. This is the original Metroid. Look, see, because I got the ball, I'm able to go through there. So you're all about leveling up, all about like getting uh, power ups, and just the design, guys. Just simply the design alone is why this game is legendary. But yeah, for sure, uh, Metroid for me, number 18. Oh yeah! Do you feel the fever? I got the fever. Coming in at number 17 is Dr. Mario. I mean, what can I say about this game? Uh, we're gonna go with the easy difficulty. This game, why I appreciate it so much, other than that beautiful, look, look at the anime, the song, soundtrack. OMG. Why do I like this game so much? Well, because, you know, I can see where Nintendo was coming from and they wanted to make something similar to like Tetris, right? But not Tetris? Well, this is it. This is what they came up with. And I like it because it's similar to like a puzzle solving game like like like, like Tetris, but it's it's just different enough that it's its own thing. You know, for example, the way okay, like well, here's a good example. I'm going to put the yellow there and then boom, look, the the blue is going to fall on that side. So there's a ton of strategy. Guys, if this doesn't make your top 20 list, I don't know what you're smoking. This game is fantastic. I love it. Dr. Mario number 17. Oh, that soundtrack. That soundtrack though. Oh yeah. Coming in at number 16 is, you know, before I give you guys my number 16, let me just say that all of the Mega Man games are awesome. And there's a big leap in graphics. Like if you look at like, for example, this first Mega Man game, look at that. And look, by the time you get to part four, you have this, which looks more colorful. And by the time you get to part six, look at that. That, that looks insane. That looks like a like Mega Man 9. You know, it's incredible what they did here. But coming in at number 16 is, in fact, Mega Man 2. Now, why is Mega Man 2 coming in at number 16? Well, I'll tell you why. And I know it's very blasphemous. I know a lot of you guys are going to get mad at me why it's not higher on my list. You know, this game is fantastic and I love it. But there comes a point where the difficulty just gets insane. Uh, I'm talking about the part where you fight this big gigantic robot that you have to destroy these like blocks in order to hit him and you, in order to hit him you have to use one of these guys ability I think it's crash man you know let's just go ahead and I forgot the order let's go to, let's go with airman get, get a little gameplay going on here airman look at that the design fantastic this game does so many things right but there are I think maybe one mega or there's actually two on, on this list that I do prefer over man but I mean the soundtrack OMG this is the epitome when it comes to like soundtracks for the NES. Listen to this guys. I'm going to shut up. Listen to this soundtrack. Fantastic. I mean, you could be humming that all day. It's so fantastic, you know. Uh, the gameplay is fantastic. It's just, yeah, there's a part of the game where the difficulty just gets super ridiculously hard. And... It's just not much fun for me. That's the best way to put it. This is why the game lost points. But is it a great game? Does it have like some of the best design? Some of the best like um, 
everything, right? It, for sure it is. It's absolutely a great game. But for that matter, oh, oh I, I, I jumped off early. Um, but, you know, for that matter, a lot of the Mega Man games are great. But, you know, that being said, um, it's the part, guys, where you fight against this robot and you have to use uh, Clash Band. A lot of you guys that know this game, you know what I'm talking about. That is why the game lost points. Don't sleep on it, though. This is a very good game. But it does come lower on my list because I just didn't like that part of the game. It's towards the end. But that being said, I love this game. Um, let's get to the next one. Oh yeah, coming in at number 15 is, yep, you guessed it, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, how is this better than Mega Man 2? You know, for me, this is one of my favorite games, not just for the Nintendo guys. You have to understand something. This is one of my favorite games ever. When I think about design, when I think about the music, when I think about, yeah, we're going to use the word nostalgia here, even though I hate using that word because nostalgia, if I'm not mistaken, and I have to get their exact definition of nostalgia. Nostalgia is just like based on memories, strictly memories and, and maybe emotion. And I think this is more than that. This is a man, you know, as a kid, it's more than just the memories. It's more, it's an experience. It's an experience, so I don't think nostalgia does it justice. You know, this game, man, it's always going to be one of my favorites. You know, not not just the music, but the the difficulty, everything. Man, I know this game inside out. I do, do I did do a walkthrough of this game if you want to check it out. It should be in uh, under the playlist of uh, you know retro classics. But I, I consider this to be one of my favorite Nintendo games. Why? Okay, let's look at let's look at the reasons why. Good design, you know, good design. Difficulty, hard as nails, but. This was a time, you know, before we had magazines, and I remember talking to one of my friends uh, in elementary school, and he gave me all, like a bunch of tips on how to beat it. Again, this was before the internet, and we, it was just word of mouth. Like I would just say, "Hey, how do you beat this level? How do you do this? How do you do that?" So because of that kid, I wish I remembered his name. I don't remember. It's been so long since elementary, but that kid literally helped me beat this game, and um, I would always, forever, be grateful to him because this would turn out to be one of my favorite games on the Nintendo forever. Um, I was able to beat this game at like, man, I want to say 11 years old or something like that. And it was one of the first games I beat. So for that reason, and because this is generally widely considered to be one of the most difficult NES games, you know, I have to go with this as being um, on my top 20. All right. Let's just, why don't we just, uh, no, I think this is a good part to end the video. We're about to hit rock steady, but it's okay, guys. You guys get the point. Yep. This is controversial, but this is my number 15. You got to love it. Let's take a trip back memory lane and consider some of the greatest games. And I know I said that about Metroid, but these, again, and we're going to keep it going. Some of the greatest games ever made, guys. Of course, I'm talking about the Super Mario Brothers franchise, you know, which a lot of them got their start, believe it or not, you know, uh, with the uh, Atari, which is kind of funny, right? You think about Mario Brothers or Donkey Kong. Yeah, yeah that, that's him. That's Mario. You know, listen, Mario 1, Mario 2, Mario 3, all fantastic. But coming in at number, what are we at? Number 14? Yeah, number 14. Coming in at number 14 is Super Mario Brothers. I would argue this is one of the most important games ever, ever made, especially when it comes to the home console. Not only is this game still great and fun to play today that has crazy good scrolling, crazy good controls, crazy good gameplay, crazy good design, crazy good everything i mean this is one of the greatest games ever made easily and without this we wouldn't have super mario brothers 3 we wouldn't have super mario brothers 2 we wouldn't have a lot of the home console you know success that would come as a result of the success of this game and this was a big reason why nintendo pretty much outsold the master system here in north america i think the master system might have done good in brazil and i think it was japan and i think it did decently in, in europe but um this is a big reason why this took over uh the market here in the u.s now when we look at the the design i always forget the name of the gentleman that designed this um i can't remember his name I'll, I'll put it here but you notice how right here you could fall right there's no consequence to the next one look this one you can fall that is just brilliant design guys that is brilliant uh, ga uh, gameplay 101 but just just the controls are spot on and this is an all-time classic without this many video games wouldn't exist so super mario brothers has to make your top 20 in my case coming in at number 14 oh yeah coming in at number 13 is one of my favorite and i mean absolute favorite video games of all time 
uh, talking about Mike Tyson's Punch Out. This game actually made me a big fan of Mike Tyson when I was a kid, and I remember when he lost to Buster Douglas later on. You know, a little bit later after this game, uh, I cried. I cried because I had so much emotion attached to it. You know, I thought like how much I love Mike Tyson, and if it wasn't for this game, I wouldn't even know who Mike Tyson was. But I mean, what can I say? The, the, what really stands out about this game, and I know I did a Master System walkthrough of Double Dragon, and I called it an 8-bit sim. Oh no, this is really an 8-bit sim because it's almost like philosophical in its um, design. What do I mean by that? Every single enemy, of course, you're, you're Little Mac, you know, and you're you can punch left and right, and you can if, if you if you miss a lot, you, you'll get tired, and then you know the enemy could hurt you. So it's all about like kind of like not ma wasting any energy and uh, just you know figuring out the enemy's weakness. Like right now, I think I, I just knocked them out. So, but you have to figure out the enemy's weakness, and that is incredible for an 8-bit sim. Who would have thought about this design? That it's all about figuring out an enemy's uh, weaknesses. I mean, that's very realistic. When boxers study each other when they're about to fight in real life, they do exactly that. This game, I can't say enough about it. One of my all-time favorite games. Man, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. What a what a gem. La. Oh yeah, you know I can't have a top 20 without mentioning Double Dragon for the NES. A gem. A game that I'm always going to love and if I have enough time on this particular, you know, trying to justify why this is my number what what are we at? Number number 12. Yeah, number 12. Why it's number 12? Well, let me just tell you that this game is closely associated with my father. And uh, a gift that he gave me in the Christmas in the early 90s. And I was a little boy, of course. And I wanted this game so bad. But the thing was that it was sold out everywhere. He couldn't get a hold of it. And I was really bummed out because that, that was like all the rave. This game was so different for its time. You could actually beat people up uh, like, like gangsters. Think of like the Warriors, the movie. But you're actually doing it in a video game where you're beating up gangs. And this game did play like a RPG. Of course, I did do a walkthrough. Uh, check it out on my channel. Um, I think it's under Retro Classics. You can check that out. And I did compare this game to the Master System. And while I do prefer the Master System, by no means is this a bad game. And of course, I have that nostalgia. So my dad couldn't get a hold of the game. And I thought, well, there goes Christmas. I didn't, I didn't get Double Dragon. Well, lo and behold, you know, I saw something maybe about two weeks before Christmas. As like, And like any kid, I can't wait to open up my present, right? And so I took when I told one of my my friends that was a little bit older than I was. He was actually my brother's friend, and he gave me the idea. Hey, why don't you peek and see if it's Double Dragon? So I did that, and uh, you know, next thing you know, uh, I found out. You know, I did I peeked on the on the you know present, and it was Double Dragon. And I told my dad. I went running to my dad, and mind you, this was about two weeks before Christmas. I said, "Thank you so much. You got me Double Dragon. I can't believe it." And he said, "You weren't supposed to know that. You weren't supposed to open up your or peek at your present." And, you know, the fact that he surprised me and got me a game that I really, really wanted. And again, it was because of its design. It was the fact that it was so unique for its time. A beat-em-up. One of the OG beat-em-ups. But this game, of course, you know, played differently. It, it was like an RPG. Guys, I love this game. I'm always going to love it. Rest in peace to my father. And thank you for making this kid one of the greatest Christmas that I can ever dream of. Love you, Dad. Well, I say, do you have any great Poupon? Coming in at number 11 is, of course, one of the greatest games. Like, I keep saying that, but there are so many great games that, you know, got their start with the, the Nintendo that have their roots with the Nintendo. I'm talking about Tetris. Now, there are two different versions that you can play this on. There's Tetris 2 as well. But there's another one made by Tengen, Tengen Tetris. That one has such awesome music. But I'm going to go with this one as my choice coming at number 11. Why? Well, this game is, what can I say? Fantastic, legendary design. You know, when, when it comes to puzzle solving, like, and you want a puzzle solving game, it doesn't, it just doesn't get better than Tetris. Let's get a little bit of gameplay going here. I don't have to tell you guys what this is. This is one of the highest, I think it is, and tell me if I'm wrong. One of the greatest selling games of all time. And again, there's a tangent version, and I love that, but I think this is where it's at. If I'm not mistaken, this game is still played today uh, competitively throughout the world. This is honestly one of the greatest games, just games ever, ever, ever made. I can't tell you how many people, especially when, when this game came out on the Game Boy, I had a lot of friends and family that didn't even care about video games that, you know, got the one for the... Oh, look, I noticed that when you go up against the wall, you can't move your little... You can't move this little 
See, when I'm up against it, I can't because it's like blocking it. Interesting. So it has very interesting gameplay mechanics. But yeah, I, it, Tetris was a, a game that made gamers out of non-gamers. Incredible, guys. And the music, man. You know, what can I say about it? Um, of course, I'm going to have nostalgia for the Game Boy one because, like I said, I had members, family members that didn't care about video games that actually wanted a, a, game, a game Boy because of this game. That is why this game comes in at number 11. One of the greatest games ever made. La 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 la. Let's get a drum roll for the top 10 video games, NES video games, in Omi's list. Coming in at number 10. And you know, I have to mention yet again Mega Man. How much I love this series. I love all of them, guys. I haven't played part 5 much, nor part 6, but I know that they just kept getting better and better. Coming in at number 10 is Mega Man 3. I know it's controversial. A lot of people, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3. And trust me, I had to really think about it. This is easily the hardest list I've ever had to make. Why did I pick this one over part 2? Because... And I've heard, I've even heard that this game was rushed. And I, I get all that. I get that part two has better design other than that last part, which is not my favorite. This game is fantastic. I, I, I think like, I just like the uh, character design for the end, uh, the bosses a little bit better. And when I think of Mega Man 3, I really think about, and I ain't lying to you, I think about Snake Man. I just, I've always loved him as one of my personal favorite. I just love his design. But, um. Let's get it start, started here with, uh, who is the first guy you should attack? Was it Shadow Man? I don't remember. Let's just go to Top Man stage. Actually, since I mentioned Snake Man, let's just go there. Let's go after the man himself. Look at that design. It's so unique. But, okay, so I do like the, the boss design here. I like uh, the, uh, the the graphics, I think, are better. I mean, that's controversial, but I think the graphics are better from Part 3 to Part 2. And then the music, guys. Both of them have great music, but this one holds its own. It's right up there with the Mega Man 2, in my opinion. Like, this song. Come on, man. This song is awesome. Da -na -na. Gosh, I love this. You know, I am a fan of the Wily Wars that came out on the on the Sega Genesis. But even I have to admit that I think the controls and everything are probably better on this. Although the Wily Wars is just uh, amazing. I love it because you get to play. It's like a, a Mario All-Stars version of Mega Man games. If you never played those, I think I'm going to do a walkthrough of Wily Wars, as a matter of fact, on this channel. But yeah, guys, look at this. Look at those beautiful graphics. Look at that. It's like everything you love about Mega Man right here, you know, Mega Man 3. So again, why do I prefer this over Mega Man 2? I prefer the gameplay. I prefer the boss a little bit more. I think the graphics are slightly better than Mega Man 2. Um, but yeah, it, it's, you know, it always comes back to gameplay for me. But look at that, guys. Speaking of gameplay, the slide. That is a game changer. And it's something why I tend to prefer this over even Mega Man 2. Again, I know it's controversial and some people don't really care about the slide. It's a game changer in my opinion. It really changes the feel, the design of everything in my opinion of Mega Man games. You know, this is why I prefer this over Mega Man 2. Um... And there is going to be another game that uh, I prefer over Mega Man 3, but that's not going to be until later, guys. For now, this game does come in top 10 Omi's greatest NES games, Mega Man 3. Absolute classic. I will love it to the day I die. Listen to that music. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can already see the hate comments coming in. Yes, Double Dragon 3 is number 9 for me. Oh, that, that actually rhymes. Guys, you know why? Okay, I'll tell you why. I'll, I'll try to explain it the best way that I can. I know a lot of people hate the difficulty in this game. And if you guys want to watch a walkthrough, check out my channel. I did a walkthrough on this. I Again, I think it's on Retro Classics on my playlist. It's there, guys. You'll find it. And it's actually a live walkthrough I did on PlayStation 4 a couple of years ago. Like maybe about two years ago. But why do I love this? Well, yes, yeah, certainly nostalgia plays a role, right? I'm not going to lie to you. Nostalgia. I remember... As a kid wanting to play this, I remember talking to the same friend uh, earlier. I mentioned Double Dragon, that he's the one that gave me the idea to peek on the uh, to see if it was Double Dragon that I was getting as a present. That same friend, I remember talking to him on the phone and saying, "Hey, I can't wait to play Double Dragon Three with you because Double Dragon Three, just like Double Dragon Two, is uh, two players. So that's one thing I love. Yes, the difficulty is tough, right? Look, I'm already getting beat up right now. Yes, the difficulty is tough, but like, if all fails, guys, just do the spin kick. <laughs> just do that. The spin kick. Oh, I, I can't get it. Just do that, you'll be fine. So yeah, I mean, it has, you know, a, a decent story. It's more like on a global, uh, you know, sense. Like, you're, you're like fighting martial artists all over the world. And I've always liked the design of this more because it made me feel like that. It made me feel like 
the double dragons had evolved that they actually have this new unique fighting style like the, every even how he moves he kind of looks like a kickboxer when he walks and i've always loved that i love the design and it felt like man these are the double dragons but they've evolved ever since part one to part two to part three now so in terms of the sprites and design yes graphics are good I, I think a lot of you guys will agree with me the graphics aren't bad and i i love that like really what sets this game apart from like double dragon and double dragon 2 for me personally is in fact the gameplay if you guys watch my videos i'm always raving about gameplay well this is it you know the other thing is you can go and you can actually use like weapons you, you know whether it's bare hands or nutchucks you can just equip them i'm gonna do that real quickly well actually i wanted to do that Wait, let, me, let me try that one more time um i didn't mean to pause it there you go boom so now you have your ninchucks you see that and i mean i'm wasting them right now you actually want to save them the 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 basically the you know what you want to do is you always want to save it for the boss battle i'm just giving it to you right now but what's cool about this game also despite the difficulty i know a lot of you guys say it because the difficulty trust me trust me it's not too bad you know it's not like like silver surfer or like you know battle toes those are games that are ridiculously hard or even I'll, I'll even say turtles you know those games are harder um it's doable and just again watch my playthrough but guys uh it, enough said i love this game I, I love the design i love the moves i love the graphics i love uh yeah you know the fact that you could run generally speaking a lot of beat-em-ups i just tend to favor them if you're able to run for example streets of rage 2 versus streets of rage 3 i do prefer the uh, gameplay in streets of rage 3 because you're able to run now check this out i'm talking about gameplay look i can go off okay i didn't mean to do that but you're able to like reflect off the wall just okay let me try that one more time you're able to do this you see that it's little things like that that make me love this game oh and let me just show you one more thing when it comes to arsenal moves when it comes to gameplay the music guys you know most of the games pretty much anything on my top 20 list is gonna have a phenomenal soundtrack this game i love the music guys it just again it just made me feel like the double dragons were evolved and let me show you one last move that you could do in this game that you know I, I don't use it much to be honest but it's just so cool that to me it just felt like the, the double dragons had evolved in terms of their martial art skills this game made me feel like that it made me feel like you know it's double dragons but in a global sense you know a, a global feel if you will and you know there's more at stake martial arts are a higher you know a higher degree of martial arts and you're able to recruit uh, members to join your team that's why guys double dragon 3 omg i love it it is for omi that's for sure You know this had to make my list. I'm talking about Super C Contra 2 on the NES. OMG. Nostalgia galore. Nostalgia running wild, guys. You know, one of the greatest strength that Contra games have is if you play them with a friend. And I know, similar to Double Dragon 2 and 3, play them with a friend. It's going to be more fun. This game is no exception. This is easily one of the greatest games ever made on the Nintendo. Just, not just nostalgia, but I mean, they hold up well. Like, they're very, very playable today. Look at that. See how I jumped and I killed the guy? Phenomenal gameplay. The soundtrack, some of the, I mean... Anything, anything on, on this 20 list is going to have phenomenal soundtrack. It's going to have this game. Oh, let's just let's listen to that, guys. Listen to the soundtrack. Here we go. Man, if that doesn't get your blood boiling and wanting to kill some enemies, I don't know what will. Yeah, this is easily one of the greatest games ever made, especially for the Nintendo. It is so much fun. You know, it looks simple, but it's so much action going on. And really, at the, at the heart of this is two-player co-op action. Super C, one of the greatest games uh, on the Nintendo. And for sure, this is going to be number eight on my list, guys. You cannot go wrong with this. You know, this game holds uh, stands the test of time. So much fun, especially with two friends, uh, two players. I can't recommend this game enough. I love it. Super C, coming in at number eight. Let's keep the action going with the game that I've actually done a walkthrough on my channel. Another game that I've done a walkthrough on my channel. Of course, I'm talking about Turtles 2, the arcade game coming in at number 7. We're almost there, guys. We're almost uh, to the number 1 on my list on the Nintendo games. But why do, why Turtles 2? This game is special. Okay, yes. Let's get, get the elephant out of the room. It is nostalgia. Okay, it is. But it's more than that. This game holds up when it comes to gameplay. And if you guys want more details on how to be good at this game and the tricks that I use. Not that I'm great, but the tricks that I use to beat this game... Just watch my, watch my walkthrough. But this game is one of the greatest, especially when it comes from like arcade to 8-bit conversions of, uh, you know, going from an arcade game to like a home console 8-bit game. This is one of the greatest conversions 
forever. I mean, this game does have the feel and look of the arcade game, but in an 8-bit fashion. You know, it, it's it's very, very good. It's a lot of fun with two players. Soundtrack, you know, like I said, any game on my top 20 list here for the Nintendo games, it's going to have a banger. It's going to be something that you love. This game really just shines with two players, guys. You know, I can't recommend Turtles 2 enough. Again, if you want more detailed analysis of what I do to beat this game, check it out on my on my walkthrough videos. But as for now, guys, why it's number why, why it's so high on my list, I, I believe it's number 7. Am I correct? Yes, number 7. Why it's number 7? It's just uh, the gameplay, the fun, the, the two-player. If you like Turtles, which I love Turtles, you know, it doesn't get much better than this. And as I stated earlier, in the intro this is one of the greatest uh, arcade to home conversions especially when it comes from uh, arcade to 8-bit you can't go wrong with this game guys this is number seven on my list turtles the arcade game um one of the greatest games ever created for the nintendo oh yeah coming in at number six one of my all-time favorite when i think about nintendo og nintendo Super Mario Bros. 2 always pops into my mind. How much, how dear this game is to my heart. Now, why is it number 6 on my list? First of all, let's listen to this beautiful music, shall we? And it has a story. When Mario opened the door after climbing a long stair in his dream, another world spread before him, and he heard a voice call for help to be freed from the spell. Basically, like it's like he's in a dreamland, and he's like dreaming about all this stuff. But make no mistake about it, this game is high on my list because it has great gameplay, great design, high fun factor, and it is the first game in the Mario franchise history that gave the uh, characters their own unique identity. I mean, Princess Peach looks very similar to what she looks like today. Toad looks like what he looks like today. Luigi was skinnier and taller. And Mario was a little chubbier and shorter. It really gave all of the characters their own unique style. And this was the first game to do it, you know? I've always... Man, it just holds up. The music, guys. Come on. Come on. I'm going to shut up again for a second. Let's, let's take that in. Let's soak it in. Get yourself a nice beer or, 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 or soda if you're younger. <laughs> And it's just soak, it, soak in this beautiful, nostalgic, great 8-bit soundtrack. But yeah, guys, it's gameplay. It's gameplay where it's at. Look at all that I'm able to do. And again, talking about identity, notice how Luigi jumps and he, he kind of like does that with his legs. He's kind of like... It's almost like he's panicking. It's hysterical, you know? And it gives the characters such a unique gameplay. I love the fact that you can pretty much carry anyone and body slam them. And that is so much fun. You can also have like you can change your distance as far as how do you want to have a short throw or a longer throw when you when you pick up uh it looks like vegetables here. But this game is so unique, so nostalgic, so much fun, and it, and it's challenging. Look, look how far I jumped. You know Mario can't do that. Neither could Toad. Oh, and if you hold the down button, you can jump to higher platforms. That is a game changer. And all of the above is why this game is so high on my list. It is one of the greatest games for the Nintendo by far, and I'm always going to treasure this game. Super Mario Bros. 2, in fact, comes in at number 6. Come on, guys. You got to agree with me. That's a banger, right? That's a banger. wanted it, and I'm delivering. Let's get a drum roll for the top 5 OMI's greatest NES games. Of course, I'm talking about Contra, the original Contra. Now, I had a hard time deciding, similar to like Mega Man games, which order. You know, it, guys, I'm telling you, this was the most difficult list. And I keep saying that. I, I mean it. This was the most difficult list I've ever made for any kind of like top 10 list. Because I couldn't decide this one or Super C. I ended up going with this one because I tend to like the design just a little bit more. Especially as you're transitioning from the end of the first stage to the second stage. Um, as you're shooting these... Uh, it's like these doors you're trying to get through um yeah and, and this is where it all started this is where contra humbly gets its start and i would argue this game you know even though it's 8-bit it's one of the first <laughs> it's a game that we can look back and say man this thing arguably plays better than the arcade game the arcade game had bigger sprites it had you know more animations but this game it's almost like the fact that it doesn't have as big of sprites and as big as big of animations but it still has beautiful graphics. It's almost like it plays better as a consequence. And when I think about 8-bit games that actually play better than the arcade game, this game comes to mind, man. This game is no sleeper. It's one of my favorite games, not just for the Nintendo. It's one of my favorite games, you know, ever released. Uh, again, similar to like Double Dragon 2, Double Dragon 3, or a lot of, or, you know, the Turtles games. 
Um, this game is way better when you enjoy it with a friend. This is one of those games. Uh, and also, uh, after everything that I just said, okay, I just died. You know, of course, this game has that difficulty. And and uh, as I was about to mention it, that you have that code where you can get more, you know, lives. I think it's up, 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 down, down, left, right, left, right, select, start, if I'm not mistaken. Well, anyways, it's the one that started that whole up, up, down, down shenanigans, you know, and then... <laughs> This is it. This is where the game got its start. I'm going to see if I can maybe beat this first stage just so I can show you guys a little bit more gameplay. But, you know, you guys already know what this is. You already know what it is. I don't have to tell you. But, yeah, this game's phenomenal. This is easily one of the greatest, um, not only, like, you know, Nintendo games. This is one of the greatest games ever made, man. This game is so much fun. I wish I could. I don't I don't have the spread shot. I must have missed it. I'm, I, you know, admittedly, uh, you know, I have, I'm a little bit out of practice, but look, we got it done. And really, the game changer, why I picked this one over Super C, which Super C is fantastic. It has that, as you go in between stages, you have that over the top look. Guys, soundtrack, we can admit, this is a phenomenal soundtrack. Um, but this transition going between stages, I tend to prefer this just a little bit more than Super C. This is something that I, I just, I don't know if it's nostalgia, but I just love these uh, middle stages, you know? Like, I, this is the reason why I tended to favor this one over Super C. But they're both fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised I haven't gotten a, a different kind of weapon because I need one. But anyways, guys, I can play this game forever. As for now, I'm going to... I'm gonna, So I can move on to the number four. <laughs> this game is so addicting. Yes. Very much fun. I highly uh, recommend playing it with a friend, guys. Contra comes in at number five. Oh, yeah. Guys, what can I say about Batman? One of my favorites, absolute favorites. It's almost like somebody decided, hey, why don't we take a hint of Ninja Gaiden or Gaiden? Or, I, I tend to say Ninja Ga Gaiden. Um, let's take a hint of that and just uh, Batman, who Batman is with his arsenal of weapons and just make a really cool video game out of it, you know? Uh, kind of like influenced by Ninja G Gaiden. But we're going to guide him to victory because we're going to make one of the greatest Nintendo games ever made. Yes, that is why this game comes in at number four. Graphics, I think, hold up, guys. This is a little bit of a slow start. We're just going to get it started. So I don't want to waste your time here. But look at that. Look at that intro. Very nice. You feel like the Dark Knight. You feel like you're about to go into battle. But really where this game shines, and you'll hear me say this a lot, I'm all about gameplay. Is the game fun? You know, because that's what's going to stand the test of time. Uh, our kids, you know, whether or not these games are fun for them to play from, for generations to come, it's going to it's gonna come down to that factor. Is it fun? You know, I don't care if it's Atari and it's like su just a block, but is the game fun? Is it something that you can play and just be entertained by you know is it playable well the answer to that is yes this game is highly playable it has um, a very unique design you know like I said I guess you could say like Ninja Gaiden because you can jump off walls like that but OMG it's not just like Ninja Gaiden because you can actually change weapons and right there see you can switch through weapons top left you see how uh, the, you have like the regular Batman you just punch but you can you, you also have like these boomerangs that really help you out and I love one of the things that I love you notice that when you hit an enemy especially with the boomerang it, it almost like hits them like multiple times and it makes you feel like man like I'm doing something you know it's not just once that I hit them but I'm doing a lot of damage okay guys and I'm gonna shut up just for a second because on top of the phenomenal gameplay this game has which is phenomenal nice looking graphics very very fun game man what would a great game be without a phenomenal soundtrack let's check it out guys I'm gonna shut up and let's check it out La, 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 la. Yeah, I mean, guys, come on. That is so beautiful. And yeah, I just, I love the challenge. This game is challenging, especially as you get towards the end of the game. Well, I, I guess what separates this game from like Mega, Mega Man 4, because I, I did bring Mega Man 4 down because of its difficulty towards the end of the game. I, I don't know. I think this game is just incredibly well designed. You know, that it was hard for me to not have it in such a high list. You know, it, it's incredibly well designed, incredibly challenging, but incredibly fair. It's one of the one of those games that makes you feel like it wasn't the game's fault; it was my fault. Like I just had to practice at it more, and I'll be able to get it. You know, but like, look at this guy. Notice how I hit him, and it hits him like multiple times. Like this game just has really good gameplay. That is why this game does, in fact, come in at number four. La 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 la. Can't believe I'm saying this, but we're down to the top three. Coming in at number three, 
a game very, very dear to my heart. And you know, you guys know I love turtles. You know, look at my Out of the Shadows. Look at all these different turtle videos that I have on my channel. I love turtles. And to me, this is the best turtles game on the Nintendo. I'm talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project, which not to be confused with Mutants in Manhattan, which is a game that came out in 2016. This game came out with 92. Uh, look at those gorgeous, bright graphics. This is honestly, in my opinion, one of the greatest looking NES games. It really, really is. It looks fantastic. Great graphics. It's for sure the best uh, Turtles game uh, on the NES, in my opinion. And um, yeah, man, let's just get it started. Get a little bit of gameplay here. Why am I picking it so high on the list? Well, not only am I biased because I love Turtles, which I do. Uh, again, look, just look at my channel. But, um, okay, so it does have a little cheesy story that they're like in vacation and of course they're after the foot because the foot are up to no good. Don't you know no good? I guess they don't know no good. So yeah, you know, um, what's cool about this game, of course, beautiful graphics and again, beautiful soundtrack. It's just, a <laughs> I love this game, guys. It's just one of the greatest beat-em-ups for the Nintendo. You know, you can have a similar strategy as far as you hit them once and then you kind of like a little, a little like you know uh i guess you could call it like hit and move hit and move you could do that strategy or you could do something that the developers thought about just press down and punch and you can just throw them over your shoulder how about that and then uh it'll hit one of their uh, uh the other enemy you know it'll bounce off of them how awesome is that so the gameplay grade a and but you can also do a special move which i'm going to try to do right now i think if you press both buttons Oh man, I can't get that. I can't get it going. But there is a special move. Trust me. How do you? Th oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. So it's basically, yes. You have to press. I think it's a jump and then attack afterwards. It's like like one fall. But the thing about that is that it does actually cost you health. So I wouldn't recommend using that unless you're fighting a boss in which you can use it all day. It's like you can spam it, and that's actually a good way to beat the, this game because the enemies, the bosses in this game are very, very difficult. Guys, I can't say enough th good things about this. If you're looking for a really fun co-op beat em up on the NES, this is, to me, this is, I, I will say, this is probably the best one, you know? Um, and certainly number three on my list. Guys, I love this game. Give it a try, you know, especially if you love Turtles and you want something nostalgic. You can't go wrong with Turtles 3. Made my top three list, and I hope you enjoy it as well. Let's listen to that soundtrack before we let it go. Hey, don't, there's a little sand in my eye. What's wrong with you? What a soundtrack, huh? Coming in at number two, a game that I absolutely love. You know, and I think like three Mega Man games made my top 20. It was a uh, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, and Mega Man 4. Believe it or not, I do like Mega Man 4 better than 2 or 3. And that kind of ends the controversy, right? Well, of course not. People are going to either love 2 or 3, you know, better than 4 and vice versa. But, you know, the reason I love this game so much is that, yes, I mean, right off the bat, I will say the graphics are better than either 2 or 3. I mean, this is fantastic, you know. Um, so the graphics are better, but again, it's just even better than part three i did like part three because you have the slide but this game is the game that introduced the 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 you know the power shot the one that you you can basically hold the the you know the um attack button and you'll be able to uh you know use like a special it's like a um yeah like like a power shot and so you know this game definitely enhances the gameplay and that's why i tend to prefer this one and like any mega man game it won't be a Mega Man game without a phenomenal soundtrack. L let's check it out, guys. Let's check out this soundtrack for Feral Man. Mega Man 4. I mean, phenomenal, right? Phenomenal. It's really like... Okay, so it's not just the music. It's just... The I, like, okay, so they're talking about my boost shot. Here it is, my mega shot, or whatever you call it. See that? See how I'm able to hold the attack button? And he kind of like, it's like a charge shot. There you go. I finally got it right. It's like a Mega Man charge shot. And you're able to do that. Look at that. Graphics, I think you guys will all agree with me. This is probably better than either two or three. And I'm telling you, man, I know a lot of people are stuck on, oh, which one's better, two or three? Uh, man, I'm telling you, part four is better. You know, I think it's always it's always a game that I go back to and I play once in a while. I recently did um um I I'm I'm gonna be playing uh Mega Man 
Wily Wars on my channel, which is Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 on the Sega Genesis. But I also want to... Uh, let's see, can I get up there? Because you have the coil. Yeah, I should be able to. Oh, come on. There you go. Mega Man, come on. There you go. I got to get that E-Tank. Um, I'm going to be playing Wily Wars, a walkthrough. But I also want to do the Sequel Wars, which this... Uh, pretty much what the Sequel Wars are, it's um these... um What do you call it? A homebrew... I think it's called Monster. It's basically these guys that did a... Because they never was released in North America. Um, basically, the sequel wars are Mega Man uh, 4, 5, and 6. But it was done with the homebrew. With guys that are just passionate Sega Genesis fans. So I do plan on playing that. But yeah, guys. You know, Mega Man 4, even though I just died. Absolute great game. The charge shot. You have the sliding. Greater graphics. Beautiful music. This is just my favorite. This is just my favorite when it comes to Mega Man games. And for those reasons and many more, Mega Man 4 comes in at number 2. Let's listen to that beautiful music. Makes me want to dance. You guys probably knew it was coming because a lot of people, you know, have this on their number 1 list. And I just have to agree with them. Super Mario Bros. 3 is in fact, you know, you guys can argue with my list over, you know, everything from number number two and on but you cannot argue the number one game for the nintendo that is in fact the reigning undisputed champion of nes games super mario brothers 3 for the nintendo entertainment system guys man what a game what a game if you guys are old enough and you remember this game came out <laughs> i can't think of many video games that actually came out on a movie before the, it was released you know to the public uh, it came out on a movie called The Wizard. If you guys check that movie out with uh, Fred Savage, man, this game is a savage. It's 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 one of the greatest designed games. It pretty much took everything that Part One did, but it's on steroids. I mean, look at this, man. It's what a beautiful game to look at graphically, gameplay, man, e even better than Part One. I I'll I'll say it. I'm saying it because look, you can actually grab the turtle and point it wherever you want. In this case, I want to grab my little, you know, that that. Um, what is it like a leaf so that i can do this check this out i got a tail a raccoon tail and i'm able to do this able to fly to the sky look at those beautiful backgrounds it almost looks like a wall or something like you know it is like a baby's room or something it is this is one of the greatest games not just for the nintendo this is one of the greatest games ever made guys especially for like old school platformers or just an old school game it just doesn't get better than Super Mario Bros. 3. I have to give it up to them. The gameplay, the controls are spot on. You can like it's. You can make Mario do a lot of things just at, at de on demand. It, it really comes down to you as as the player being able to control him. You know, and of course, like any video game with practice, you're gonna get better. But my gosh, the controls are spot on. They pretty much took everything Mario Brothers did and put it on steroids. You know, you collect items. See how you have at the bottom right, you have that star. I can pretty much use that. And look at that. You can, you can, uh, <laughs> it's just the gameplay, guys. The game, the music. I'm going to shut up for a second. We can check out that beautiful music. Let's check it out, guys. Yes, absolutely. It's great. It's phenomenal. I just honestly, I've thought about it, and I when I really think about, is there anything better on the NES than Mario 3? I would say no. This is the pinnacle. This is the best. This is the greatest game on the NES, and the only one that can top it are, you know, I don't know. This is really one of the greatest games ever made, and there's a lot of those on the NES library, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This uh, does conclude my top 20 NES games, but there's more videos to come, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, man. Mario Brothers 3. If you still haven't played it, if you're younger or older or anything in between, you're doing yourself a uh, injustice by not playing this. This is easily not only one of the greatest Nintendo games ever made, and in my opinion, the best Nintendo game ever made. This is one of the greatest games, dare I say, ever made. Super Mario Brothers 3 on the NES is in fact the best game ever made on the Nintendo. With that being said, guys, I want to thank you for all your comments, likes, and subs. As always, guys, I will catch you absolutely on the next vid.